Do you perform in Cambridge? Cambridge. That's where Harvard is. For a guy like I, you, I know that. that's got to be the Taj Mahal. I love that that I bugs you. I Harvard. Are you kidding? Have you heard what's going on on college campuses these days? I don't watch the news. What you're about to watch is some of the worst BS spewed by Bill Maher and some of the funniest retorts by Bill Burr. Take a look. You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas? They are in with the terrorists? Oh, they, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. No, it is not. Let's pause here. Conflating all Palestinians with Hamas is like saying there is no difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism and saying that they should be paired together. It is a falsehood. And it is pure and unadulterated nonsense. Um... I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Uh, this is a war. That was very that, brave of you to say this. This is a this is a war. No, I'm the one who's actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e it's pat e yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I comes just... down to real hard nosed decisions. Like no, a country. Stop talking like you're a general. A country got attacked. Israel got attacked. I'm not saying that they didn't have a right to go back. I'm just sitting there going okay. like, how do I look at what- We're the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked and then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this shit now. Don't attack them. There's a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. Let's pause once more. This argument has been debunked over and over and over again but also. Most Muslim people in the world do that or condone that, no. no. But most Muslim people in the world do condone violence. One God reason they don't get exposed is because they're afraid to speak out because that's, it's the only, oh. it's the, because it's the only it. religion that acts like the mafia that will kill you that, if you say the wrong true. thing, I mean, draw the wrong picture, or write the wrong book. Let's understand Mars' history and how he feels about anyone who is Muslim and or in the region, because it's vital to understand this. He generalizes on the subject matter. For Mar and his ilk, the goalposts always move. Just Stop attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there did. There you go. That's fantastic. Anyway. All right. We let's, don't need let's, to get let's onto go to, that. Let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve <laughs> that one, Bill? <laughs> Let me hear your hard-nosed decision about that. Well, let me ask you a question. How, it, how is war still legal? With all the shit that's been canceled. Legal. Why is that still legal? Would you like a real answer to that? Because to, for something to be illegal, you have to have the capacity to enforce it. And you can't enforce against war or else you have to go to war with the country that's going to war. And we don't want to go to war with Russia over Ukraine. What would be the sense of making it illegal? Oh, that's really going to stop Putin. No. To stop people from going to war, you have to also put you boots... You can't sit down and talk it out. Do a Why can't Putin do a podcast with the head guy? Like, you just solved the Middle East on a podcast. Why can't they solve what they're doing on a podcast? See, make this some, is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this is make my, some this hard noise. It's not your thing. It's, it's, thing. it's what you... My, you it is my it thing. Isn't your this thing. is not it your isn't. thing. You're like that Plain guy that, that has a fantasy football team no, and thinks no, he's a... No, GM. No. No. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, why am I listening to you like, like you've done something? What have you done in Washington? Nothing. Just awesome. And now this from HuffPost. The season stand-up appeared Sunday on Mars Club Random Pod when Mar, who uses his weekly HBO show to mock calls for a ceasefire, and claim students are demonstrating for Hamas, asked if Barr was on the same side, and of course, he was not. After all, this is the same person in Bill Maher, who in an interview with Katie Couric, would say, I don't think he committed that crime. The he was in reference to Hollywood filmmaker Woody Allen, and the accusations that Ronan Farrow brought to light, which really feel highly credible. I need to be very clear about this. Mar also played up the, hey man, we need to be careful here. We can get canceled at any point in time. And Bill Burr responded with, come on, man, that, that's over. 
That's done with. And Mar fought him on it. And they would have a back and forth on that as well. Go check out the club random pod on YouTube or Spotify, what have you. But the reason Burr fought it is because he basically said he doesn't believe in it anymore and that it's up. This also goes back to what he said on a 2020 podcast, which is called The Last Laugh Podcast, and saying that outrage culture is one of the most misrepresented things out there. How they will make such a small percentage of people seem like there are 3 million people. We have gone over this previously as well because famed progressive comedian David Cross, who you have seen in a bevy of shows and has a ton of stand-up specials, has said that this doesn't exist and that no comedian is getting canceled for their work, which I highly recommend you go check out. I believe it was in an, in an interview with Vox. Yet... I continue to just internally try and think about the influence that someone like Amar has, the way that he is viewed, and this pathetic word mouth dribbling BS that he continues to bring each and every week on his show. Each and every year, this has been going on since, gosh, I think his ABC show was in the early 90s, I want to say. So let's say it's been 30 years. 30 years. This is the same man who I understand having the discussion, but does not does not add a lot of pushback to the Milo Yiannopoulos's who he platforms, the Steve Bannons who he platforms, the Ben Shapiro's who he platforms. And he is a middle of the road centrist guy. That's what he is at this point. And it also says a lot that he is Warming up to a guy like Gavin Newsom, who is also, by every stretch of the amount, like we are a very right-wing country. There's no doubt about it. But Gavin Newsom is, on the world stage, the epitome of a right-leaning centrist. There are some policies that have been good. It does not make him a progressive. It does not make him a leftist. With this paradigm that we have, which is inherently flawed... He falls on the somewhat left-hand side. But, and I must make this clear, on the world stage, he is right-leaning. And that makes Marr even more right-leaning for the things that he has said, the bigotry that he has spewed, the xenophobia that he continues to spout. It is all incredibly pathetic. And I'm glad somebody like Bill Burr put him in his place. If you can, please do support us here at TYT Sports. Become a channel member. Go to youtube.com slash TYT Sports and click the join button. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate all the love.